Hi guys, and in this video I'm going to be changing the fog lights on my Audi A3 8V. Hopefully not too blue. Some people complain, oh no, you're going to blind people, oh, you're going to blind people with the uh, blue on the uh, the old fog lights. And some people are, oh, if you continue to use it, you are going to uh, you are going to damage your your lenses on your fog. Well, mate. In short, I'm not really a fan of fog lights. When the fog gets bad in the UK, for some reason, you turn the fog lights on, it seems to get worse. So, the only reason why I'm gonna do it, just so it's aesthetically pleasing, I saw that word the other day, aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> when I lock the car, the leaving home lights that are gonna be on the car and the coming home lights that I'm gonna get installed on the car, it will like match the xenons on the car, which are already a white color that I've got for me and tuning. I took my wheel to the left, and then I took out some screws. I took out um, one that's in here, don't know how well you can see it, two there and three there and there was one on the underside, oh, let's get under here, it's not going to be any light here, but I just took out one from here and then using my, um, my trusty strong little arms, I'm peeling this part back here, getting my fingers in there and it's easy as pie. All you need to do is press there's a little clip in here. You will not be able to see it because it's very, very dark, but there's a clip. You push down on the clip and you've got to release the plug before you try twisting out the bulb because there's a little there's a little blocker, I just call it a blocker, there's a little blocker in here that is actually stopping you from twisting the bulb out with the plug still on. Twist it anti-clockwise and then there we go. Out it comes. Simple as pie. Much better. It says HA on the back and on the GP funders as well, H8. So all I need to do, same size, same hub up, I'm just gonna do everything I've done um, in reverse. All right, so now I'm trying to do the passenger side. I came to a little error. When I was working in here, the um, windscreen reservoir, wash, whatever it is, is situated there so I couldn't get my hand as small as my hands are I couldn't get it in there so the way I'm gonna have to do it now I'm gonna have to go around right to the front of the car and literally pry off this area here so this area this fog light grill house whatever you want to call it I'm gonna have to smash into that with some pry tools not smash into it but with some pry tools and carefully lift it out of the way just a heads up look to the right of the fog grill and you can see it's already snapped so that's not how I, how it happened like i didn't do it but as you can see it was already snapped so the geezer had the car before me it's obviously snapped it okay so as you can see i've managed to take it off the little grill as you can see here as well i'm not going to lie to you it has snapped which isn't really an issue because it doesn't really it's not really noticeable when it's on this is the trim tool i used the main thing is is to be firm but very gentle at the same time if you know what I mean. So around it you can see here we've got all these ridges that kind of keep it in place all along the outside. These are the worst ones obviously it's snapped here so this is an area you want to be really really delicate on. Alright so over here you can see I've now taken out the house and I want to show you something. It came out like this so there's obviously one screw there and there should have been one screw along the bottom here right on that bit there that holds it into place but as you can see here on the car somehow it's snapped off so that was not me I swear that was not me because this is an easy thing so that's obviously somebody that's done this earlier before I had the car and obviously they've snapped it trying to pull it off without realizing that there was a screw there so I'm giving you the heads up now there's two screws on the housing that actually stores the light and that's very very important with me if I'm not too sure how many screws something is I look for the part on eBay and then I try and look at different different pictures different different angles to figure out how many screws it has little heads up there so now all I'm going to do I can show you what I did now on the other side is the same thing here so now I can tell you what I was talking about on the other side that part there is stopping you from just twisting it and pulling it out okay so now with that out of the way all I needed to do is twist this this way and out it comes 